Good morning Cam, what's up everybody? I've been waiting for my new microscope to arrive. And this package and this little package showed up. Let's get started and open these boxes and see what's inside. Actually having a hard time to hold this. Let's put this thing together. And the first, uh, we have this kind of bar, and you can adjust the ring here, like that. And you can just tighten this set screw. It just locks. And there is a little thing here, and we're gonna put this on top of this really heavy duty plate all right nice and tight okay this is the first step and after we put this i'm gonna put this a little bit down maybe mm, like that okay the back front okay and the next thing is we have this little guy here. Okay. It's going to be a vertical arm of our microscope. Yeah, as I said earlier, like this is super duper heavy duty. It's not a cheap material and they put a lot of metal in it. And it's gonna be pretty stable actually okay and then let me just the camera a little bit okay this basically goes on this horizontal leg like this you can just rotate this 360 super easy pull them back and 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 this side is the back side this side is gonna be back you can keep your walls okay i'm gonna move it a little bit left yeah this is really heavy okay the other part is this kind of middle arm that we are gonna use and to put our put our microscope holder on top of it okay this is a very nice thing. Okay, this little hole just goes here. Like 
like that. Okay. Can also just pin this one forever. Okay. I'm gonna type this arm almost 90 degrees. Okay, right here. Just type that one. It looks like this. And this vertical thing is going to hold right here our microscope holder this piece okay we're gonna put this right here and you can also lift this up and use this knob to stabilize it okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it like that like that and that one looks really cool now okay one other piece is this little lid or cap goes on top of this extension arm nice and tight okay okay it works perfect it's smooth and we have a little allen key comes in the box and this is for right here if you're gonna use your microsoft always 90 degree angle the basically this little thing here you can just type this uh, you can even use a square and uh, if you are super obsessed about the degrees and you can just type this one this is going to hold your microscope in 90 degree angle right here okay we don't want it we don't want to see the right or left all right i think the first part is done let's put the this thing aside i'm gonna move this box and probably our microsoft is right there i'm going to move the camera a little bit back yeah this is really really heavy this guy is super rock solid okay i'm gonna put this like this and i'm gonna get my second box hmm. Back. Not open so far. And we have one other box inside the box, and we have a pick ticket. I don't know whatever it is, and we have little M scope customer information sheet right here, and we have of course. This is empty. Okay, let's start with this box. Okay. Hmm. We have instructions. Very, very well, actually. 
you don't need to worry about anything and you can just throw this one from the first floor nothing is gonna happen If you're not using kit that I'm not gonna use that one. Just throw it away. Uh, yep, we have some silica and we have one other one. Okay. Oh, we have two little boxes. <coughs> Alright, let's get started. Uh, the first thing first, let's move this camera a little bit closer this our microscope actual microscope actually the microscope feels sturdy and but we'll see we have to see the performance of this microscope actually yeah okay the one other thing, and whatever it is, is probably trichinol the, the camera adjustment thing. And probably you can adjust the focus here. And there's a little knob. I don't know how this is gonna work. We'll figure it out. Okay, two little boxes. Oh, little spines, you think? And box. Oh, those are our eyepieces. Look at this. Okay, this is our first eyepiece. And other sponge and lots of materials people are wasting here. Another box. Inside the little plastic bag, this is our other eyepiece. Okay, so far we have two eyepieces and tri trinocular, whatever it is, thing. Okay, we have this plastic package. I'm gonna open this one. Hmm, it says SM20. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, I think I'm gonna order new Sony lens. I've been using this Tamron uh, 28 to 17, 17 to 28 for a while. Uh, it's not focusing very well. This is SM05. We have two boxes, SM20 and probably this is SM50. Doesn't matter, let's open this little thing up. Uh, Okay. Oh yeah, we have one other magnifying lens or magnifier. Like that. It's it's a magnifier. And let's put it here. And other parts. We have 0.5x. Ah, sorry, it's not 50. This is the uh, 0.5x. Uh, yep, magnifier, and that one is actually 2x magnifier. Okay, let's open this lovely box. Oh my gosh. 
I knew it. And we have a very nice 144 LEDs in this ring light. Okay, we'll see. And some people are talking about it's too bright, it's reflecting the PCB. Uh, we have some AC power cord, number 10. And also we have this little fancy controller, traditional on off switch and plus minus and probably to set the brightness level and we have also mode controls here and I am assuming that you can you can adjust the light balance with those guys okay we'll figure that the first thing first we have a look at the instructions manual but let's try to put this thing our microscope okay, I'm gonna adjust this like that we have a very nice big hole here and also little little set screw right here right here you can untie that tight and probably this just goes right here okay there is no gap between this like a hole and the microscope and once you're done actually right here you can tighten this set screw again to stabilize this microscope I'm just using this extension arm to move it but if I want to I can untie this I can also change the, the microscope okay I'm gonna move this a little down by the way this is lots of knobs here and it's gonna be it's gonna take a while to get used to uh, learn all this stuff and let's go and actually okay we can actually see this what I'm thinking actually Maybe we should take this out because this is kind of, I don't know, like this is too high for me. Maybe we should take a look at the user's manual now. Okay? I don't even remember how the microscope looks like. Uh, It looks like we put the things together correctly. The, the height of this thing is little, little high. What I'm suspecting, maybe, instead of putting this like that, we can take this part out. Like this, through here. And also, Flip this over okay. and then take this part entirely out and put it like that. Okay. That way we can even go way lower. Like you, 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 you can basically do however you like, and I don't think so. This is gonna be a very big problem. Um, okay, turn this. Okay, what we're gonna do now? Hmm. I figure out something. We can actually untie this. I'm. Not sure. Oh, okay, this is the actual lens. You can see both lenses. Uh, okay, and then I'm gonna put this cap in it. Get tight. Probably shouldn't open this area unless we are super obsessive to 
do some modifications. Okay, now, okay, let's try to figure out this. If I take these two plastic caps out, I don't see anything here. Okay, I'm gonna get this thing out too. Yeah, I can see uh, one hole, but nothing. Okay, probably we are gonna put this little things inside this little holes. There is a one other set screw right at the side of this little thing. I don't know if you can see it. There is a very tiny Phillips hat screw. I'm gonna actually go and get my screwdriver if I can find it here. Alright, this, this is gonna work. And I untie this little tiny screw. I'm gonna try to put this little thing inside. Yep, it goes all the way down, and then I'm gonna type this. Okay, right now this is in place. And I'm gonna do the same to the other one. I'm going to untie this little screw and put the other other one here. Okay, now it looks better. Yep. Yep, I can see some stuff, definitely. Can you hear that? Yeah. Yep, uh, okay. I know where this sound is coming from. Uh, there is a little gel inside and there are probably some some gears inside here and when you adjust this focus ring and it just makes sense it doesn't matter okay that one is looking good what else ah okay uh, how was how can I, how can i put this magnifier here is this okay yeah i can put this magnifier this one was 0 0.5 okay i'm gonna put this one just screw this magnifier yeah it's it's very tricky okay Our 0.5x magnifier is in place. And what else? Ah, uh, this is a trigonular port. Uh, I can go and put this one right here. And there's one other set screw inside right here. I can put this one here and probably we can go and attach our camera at the top of it since i ordered a different camera i'm not gonna use this one but it, it's, it's gonna be easy okay the next thing we're gonna put this inside this ring and just tight this little tiny set screw okay okay perfect uh one last thing let's do it and let's put our little LED light. Okay, the same. Uh, we have some other set screws here. This is kind of plastic, but it, it doesn't feel like, like a very cheap plastic or it doesn't look fragile too. Okay, and okay, yeah. I'm gonna just 
let's unplug those stuff a little bit. There are three set screws. Uh, that's good. I can tighten them symmetrically. Symmetrically. Okay, cool. A little bit more. And a little bit more. Right side, left side. Actually, <laughs> need to almost untie all the way up. Okay. Once you're done, and you're gonna, you're going to start to type these guys one by one because we want to type them equally. And it's actually very nice. It's, it's flat right here. Mm -hmm. There is no angle. It's, it looks cool. Okay. And then we are going to plug this latest and greatest generation USB port into our little light controller, into our light controller. Okay, that's good. And let, okay, I'm gonna plug this in. Oh, it is working. Okay, let me try to see something. I can see the cables and oh my gosh oh this is my okay if you use these knobs and you basically zoom in this is 95x sorry 90x because this microsoft's 2.5 to 90x and this is 3.5 Okay. Actually, the, the first adjustment that I made was great. Let me see. Oh my gosh, you can't, you can't imagine the quality of this. And hopefully uh, this microscope is gonna help me actually. Let me check. I can see very, very tiny cracks on my razor blade. All right.